Hey guys, it's James here from J Ray Games, and I'm back with another PSVR to PC video. And today we are looking at room scale tracking, which is awesome because if we want to play games where we, we got to move around a little bit, uh, we need to have a solution for that. And we're going to be using the Nolo VR tracking system, which works really, really well. And I'm going to show you how to set that up to get kind of an optimal performance for that. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss this one. Okay, so like I said, today we're looking at room scale tracking and uh, we're going to be using the Nolo VR system. And if you saw my last video with uh, Fallout 4 VR, I showed you how I set it up for horizontal uh, positional tracking. Today we're going to be doing room scale ceiling mounted tracking using Nolo. And I showed you um, in the last video again what you need to install. Basically I've got the Nolo um, headset marker tracker mounted on my PlayStation VR. Um, it doesn't have to be a PlayStation VR, it could be any other uh, headset that's out there. But this is what you need. You need to mount this on here, it has to be pointing upwards. you notice that I took some Velcro here and here. Oops, that one came out. But uh, just to hold the, the, um, the wire in place so that it goes nicely to the back of the headset. Uh, also, we're going to need the base station. And uh, the base station is going to be mounted on the ceiling. And I found the easiest way to do this, I really like Velcro. Uh, so what I did, this thing is super light, I just put a Velcro strip on the back um, and mount this up on the ceiling so that it can see the play area. The base station will track the position of the headset in the kind of, I guess you can call it like a cone that comes out from the base station. It will also track the controllers within that same space. Depending on the height of your ceiling, uh, that's going to give you a bigger play area. So um, you'll get to see my setup and it works pretty well, but if you have even higher ceilings, you're going to get uh, even bigger play area. So we're gonna take a look at that. I'm gonna show you how I set it up. I'm gonna show you the optimal settings for this to get it nicely working for any room scale game that you wanna play. Okay, so I'm just going to shoot this from kind of a point of view cam here. Um, I've got my base station, and as you can see, I've got the Velcro strip on the back of it. And like I said, this thing's pretty light, so it's going to hold it no problem. On the floor there, I've got my uh, PlayStation VR with the headset tracker mounted, and both controllers beside it. You'll notice that they're facing forward, okay? They're facing this way. And that's for a reason I am using that orientation because the Nolo base station is going to sit uh, in the same direction. Where the power button is is basically the forward facing direction. So we want the power button facing the same direction as the forward for the headset and the controller. So what I've got up here, I'm just gonna stand on this chair, up on the ceiling here, I have a little piece of Velcro and I'm going to take my base station and I'm going to just mount it directly onto that strip of Velcro. Now one thing I wish they would add with Nolo and maybe in the future they will, uh, it would be nice to be able to turn off the base station uh, from the computer because every time I want to turn it off I have to climb up here and turn it off. And uh, now you can see that matches the orientation of the headset. So if I look at my play area, I've got my headset here. I can move the chair a little more so you can see. It's a fairly good size play area. Uh, and up there is the tracker. So, sorry, the base station tracker. So as long as I stay within that cone under that base station, it picks up my movements really, really well. Okay, and now we are ready to set it up for our positional tracking. And um, I just turned on the base station. I know I didn't show that. I didn't think I needed to show that, but I did turn it on. So the base station is on. It sees the PlayStation VR on the ground. 
the headset marker is green which means that it has detected it and uh, now we're ready to actually go and set this up and get it running I've already got steam running on my desktop here um, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna run the Nolo software alright and this uh, is free for download um, so I'm gonna run that and I should see that down here in my taskbar that Nolo has detected that it is on and connected. Um, and the most important thing here when you are doing it um, on your ceiling rather than horizontal is you're going to go to play mode and you're going to change it to ceiling mode which is still in beta but uh, it works really well. We're going to turn that on and you're going to see that it's going to do a room setting the second that I turn this on. So watch, I'll click that. And it says room setting is finished. What it's doing is it's looking at where the headset is and it's basically uh, setting its floor position to what um, it's at right now. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into Trinus and we're going to run in admin mode. And we are going to uh, start it up. <clears throat> Make sure Nolo VR is turned on. And um, again, I don't know if you saw the last video, but I always, if your um, VR headset is calibrating backwards, which sometimes happens, you can use this yaw offset slider, put it to 180, and that will spin it around to the correct direction. So I have mine set. So Nolo VR, this you may have to adjust. Don't use the orientation, it, it's really bad. And uh, then start it up. Now we can see that it's tracking, it's calibrating properly. Our PlayStation VR is now hooked up and ready to go. Next we're going to launch Steam VR in admin mode again. And we're going to get our our room setup. I've also got the mirror showing so you guys can see what I see. Uh, and there's our room. You can see everything's facing the correct way and it's on the ground because that's where it set its position so it's sitting on the ground and now it's more or less ready to play. Now I'm going to just send using alt tab I'm going to send the headset window using shift windows right I'm going to send it over to my PlayStation VR. Now you'll notice that this kind of flickers back and forth and the reason is because the headset is right on the ground. It is sitting right on the ground and it jumps in and out of the room uh, because sometimes it's in the ground, sometimes it's above the ground. It's basically turning on and off because it's sitting right on the ground. One other thing I forgot to mention that I do like to add to my um, VR setup is open VR advanced settings okay so um, it's within my program files open VR advanced settings it's a free download and what it does is it allows you to have a lot of control over the position of your uh, play area and the floor and your height distance and how far and it allows you to make a lot of adjustments to your VR settings after you're already in Steam VR so now guys I'm going to switch this camera over so that you can see what I'm doing in the play area because from this point of view everything is set up and ready to go. Okay so I'm going to enter the uh, play area here and you can see that I'm standing underneath the uh, base station which is mounted on the ceiling. I've got my headset down here like I said in the same orientation as the base station and I'm going to pick up the headset and I'm going to put it on and you can see that all the changes that I'm making right here in this world uh, with my VR is affecting what I see in the steam room in front of me. So you can see I can uh, look at the board, I can walk around, I can kind of peek around corners. That's the whole point of a room scale area is that you can move around this area and explore this area in virtual reality space. I'm going to grab my controllers and I'm just going to hit the power button and I should see my controller show up in front of me in a second there it is okay sometimes it takes a couple seconds just for it to get the tracking perfectly let's do the second one and there it is beautiful so I've got both controllers in front of me tracking perfectly 
Now when I press the, the power button on the controller, um, I go into the sub menu and you'll notice that I have the advanced settings. This is what I was talking about, that it adds to your Steam VR. If we go to advanced, we can do all sorts of changes within here to our play area, things like our height, um, our distance, forward and back, left and right. We can make all sorts of adjustments here to make our experience even better. Now, I really like this because then we don't have to go through a calibration every time. We can just use the advanced settings, tweak it a little bit, and go right back into playing our games. All right. There's a lot of options within here that I haven't explored everything just yet, but you can see within this advanced settings that you have a lot more control over the play area that you are within. So I'm going to go back to Steam here. And we're going to play Rick and Morty. That was the game of choice here. And we're going to launch. It's going to take me into the game. And as you can see, guys, everything is tracking perfectly. All right, the controllers, my play space, my position. I'm in the sort of intro screen here, and I'm looking around. I'm in this environment. I can walk over, and you can see that it is tracking as I'm walking around perfectly. All right, now I'm going to um, I'm going to grab one of the discs off the wall here. Let's do the laundry. That doesn't sound fun, but let's do it anyways. Let's put it in. And I love Rick and Morty. This show is one of my favorites. So to be able to be within this world is awesome. All right, even if I am doing Rick's laundry, it's still awesome. I'm going to play. And you can see that, again, everything's responding perfectly. Now, because the NOLO controllers match the Vive controllers exactly, all the buttons um, are the same. So everything works as it should. You can see that it tracks perfectly. I'm going to just press the menu button so that I can get into the game. And here we go. All right. So pretty awesome experience. All right. It is, is really, really good. All right. And it tracks great. Very fluid, very smooth, there's no real lag. I might be getting a little lag because I'm mirroring it on my screen, but it is an awesome experience. It is running really, really good. Now, once this loads up, you're going to see that I'm within an environment that I can kind of walk around a little bit and explore, but as with most room scale games, the area, the play area that you're within is kind of a set area. It's not like I can walk around the entire room. There's a little bit of teleportation that I need to do in order to... Um... Hey guys, how's it going? Awesome. Alright, so here I am within this, uh, within this area that I can explore, this small area around the laundry machine that I can walk around and look and manipulate as I need. And what a jerk. He just throws his laundry on the ground for me to pick up. I'm going to open this up. Oops. And I'm going to put his laundry in the machine. Now, like I said, the cool thing is, here I am picking stuff up off... Oh, oh I don't know how I'm going to do that. Um, okay, no, it's coming back. There it is. <laughs> All right, and we'll put that in the machine. We'll grab this and pop the cap off. And you can see that it's responding to my movements perfectly. I'm going to put this down and turn this on. And there we go. I think he kills me here. That's supposed to happen. Like I said, guys, um, this is awesome and it works really good. Okay, I'm dead. Got to pick up the phone. I got to push the button. Already done this before. Yo, now I've got the ability to teleport. The board explains everything. I can listen to Rick, but I, I know you guys probably don't want to. But now I can, I can teleport by pressing the the uh, touchpad. All right, so I can look to an area and I can teleport there. And then the cool thing is I can kind of play around with the things that are in this area. All right, so it's a lot of fun. Everything is interactive in this game, so you know you can pick things up and, and test them out. If you're a fan of the show, then you know what a lot of this stuff is, like the plumbus here. <laughs> and uh, so, anyways, you can see it's it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm gonna just teleport over there. Now, I'm not promoting the game. I mean, the game is awesome. It's a short experience, only a couple hours, but. This is a great example of room scale tracking that you would probably need from a game. 
All right, you can see that my play area is fairly large. I can walk around pretty easily. And um, it's about a two meter by two meter play area. I'll just answer the phone here on my wrist. Okay, okay, come on. All right. So like I said, it's a pretty cool game. Um, it is a good example of a game to try uh, for room scale if you haven't played any before. It's not free, uh, but it is on sale right now. It's 30% off and um, it, is a, it is a good game. It's only a couple hours uh, from start to finish. But if you are a fan of Rick and Morty, uh, you get to jump into their world and play around with their, in their world, basically. Um, I haven't finished it yet, to be honest. I, I just started uh, not too long ago, but uh, I like what I see. And as you can tell, the Nolo is tracking perfectly with the PlayStation, so I'm able to play this game without any, any problems whatsoever. All right, so I'm gonna take it off and we'll go jump back on the computer. Okay guys, well hopefully that was at least a little bit of a preview as to what you can do with your positional tracking using your PlayStation VR. Again, um, for the cost of Nolo, which I believe is $169 right now, um, it is a fantastic positional tracking system. It does a great job of, uh, of following your movements. It's very fluid, it does a really, really good job. Um, and I strongly recommend if you do want to get into room scale games that you try this system out. Um, if it's a little out of your budget, then I will be making a video for PS Move um, positional tracking as well. But anyways, uh, it does work good. Um, it's really, really excellent. It really enhances your VR experience. So I hope you found that useful. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you like what you're seeing, I'll have more videos coming out. Till next time, thanks for watching. See ya. Thank you.